So for the remainder of this course, we're going to focus upon building this application. And it's an application that gives a little database of movies. And it's very straightforward. The front end is built in React, and the back end is built in Go. And here's how it works. Obviously, not a lot of effort is going to be put into making it look pretty. Instead, we're focusing upon functionality. So we have a home page. We can display a list of movies. We can click on an individual movie, say the Shawshank Redemption, and get some information about it. And we can also browse movies by genre. And all of these, the movies and the genres page, and when you look at an individual movie, say Crime, it shows you the Shawshank Redemption. All of that information is coming from a standard REST API, where we send a request off in the form of JSON, and we get the response back in the form of JSON, and we consume that on our React front end. This part, GraphQL, actually does pretty much the same thing, but it accesses the back end using GraphQL and it, it makes a GraphQL query and sends that to the server and receives a GraphQL response. So, for example, one of the things we can do is look at American Psycho, and we spend a little bit more time on this. So, for example, I can look at this movie, and now we're actually fetching in a poster for this movie from a remote API and displaying that when we display the information. And back on GraphQL, we can also sort things. So if I, for example, type the, it, it filters the list to only show the ones that have the, the letters T-H-E in the title. So we'll be doing that. We're also going to have a login functionality with one user, me at here.com, and a password. And when I log in, watch what happens over here, and watch what happens up here. Those change. I now have a manage catalog link, and I have an add movie link, and the login changed to log out. And that authentication is done using JSON web tokens. So we'll spend some time on that as well. And once I'm logged in, I can actually modify the catalog. So I could bring up The Princess Bride and change its release date or its title, its runtime, the description, all of these things, or I can delete the movie if I choose to do so. So that's what we'll be spending the next few sections of this course working on.